Now that you've run a hopefully successful campaign, it's time to assess how things went. It's always good to take time to reflect on what worked and what didn't before starting something new. Did you reach your goal or make discernible progress? Were there unexpected challenges that you can prepare for better next time? Thinking through the ways your campaign was effective and identifying what could have gone better is an important step in the process. It'll give you time to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses in the campaign and in your team so that you can take that into account when you strategize in the future. In the midst of all of this reflection, consider what information your fellow advocates might like to know. Think about sending a recap email or posting on social media to let participants or supporters know how the campaign went and what impact you had. Thank them for their efforts and promise to keep in touch as the issue develops. If the impact was really significant, you could consider sending out a second press release to update the media about the campaign results. Making a difference in our communities can take time and multiple actions in order to create a real and lasting change. Totally normal to hit roadblocks and disappointments along the way. You'll meet people who disagree with you and people who just don't understand the importance of the campaign you're running. There isn't always a clear win, and that can be frustrating. Remember to practice self-care and encourage your fellow activists to do the same. It isn't unusual to feel drained or burnt out after long campaigns. Advocacy is more than just a project. It's also emotional labor. It takes a lot of energy. If you need to, take time off before your next campaign and leave yourself and your team space to take mental health days when you need to. It might be helpful to make a checklist for yourself. Are you sleeping enough? Have you been eating well? Do you find yourself getting upset or angry over little things that normally don't bother you? Run through the list as often as you need to. It's tough to help others when we've run ourselves into the ground. And once you've had a chance to recover from your campaign and you've taken some time for reflection, Think about how you might approach the issue in future campaigns. You may need to come at it from another angle or find different partners in order to be more effective and expand the reach. As you work out the details, be sure to take your team and your followers along for the ride by posting periodic updates about the issue, hosting smaller informative events, or even something as simple as sharing articles or videos about the topic created by other people or organizations with similar interests. Keep in mind that federal issues, once resolved, may pass on to the states for further consideration. Your campaign may be over at the federal level, but not at the state or local level. A good example of this is funding. Often, money allocated at a federal level needs further action on a state level in order for the recipients to get a hold of it. If the issues you've been working on is resolved at a federal level, dig a little deeper and see if you can find out what, if anything, needs to happen next. You may even want to refer back to the research video earlier in the series to brush up on your research skills. And here's the thing. Engaging in advocacy isn't always easy. No matter what, be proud of yourself. Speaking up is no small task, and it's one that many people avoid. And even if your campaign didn't immediately have the impact you were hoping for, every action is a step in the right direction. Keep at it. Your action for this week? Take a break! You've earned it! Leave some of your favorite self-care tips in the comments below, and check back next time for a briefing on some upcoming issues. Thanks for watching, and go chill!